Let's talk about culture. From pop music to food recipes and contemporary art, culture is a way of building bridges and connecting people. It's also a foundation for diplomacy to create strong, lasting human relations. While tech and the economy are broad examples of hard power, culture is the soft power that plays on shared values and ideologies. The term soft power comes from Joseph Nye, a professor at Harvard University I interviewed last year. It has global resonance with many links to Asia. It captures how Japanese aesthetics have become internationally recognized thanks to Pokemon and films by Hayao Miyazaki. It also introduced South Korea through the hit song Gangnam Style. It's not easy to resonate with people on the other side of the planet to where you are. You have to break barriers like language, customs, and lifestyle. But human curiosity has never slowed, and today's generation of Chinese creators have leveraged the online world to reach new audiences. Chinese food, in particular, has traveled far and wide, like the documentary A Bite of China, watched by 100 million viewers. More recently, a Chinese blogger called Li Zixi has become an internet sensation with more YouTube followers than CNN. Her vlogs showcase the natural beauty of Sichuan Province in southwest China, where she lives. She cooks traditional recipes using dried meats, braised snowfish, and other delicacies from the rich archives of Sichuan cuisine. She also demonstrates traditional carpentry, building a bamboo bench in a video that was watched by 44 million people. Thanks to social media and natural curiosity, Sichuan has truly gone global. Southwest China was also showcased in Open the Gate to the World, which won Best Music at the Venice Film Festival last year, once again putting the region's colors and sounds on full display. Before that, films like Kung Fu Panda, Great Wall, and Ip Man entertained moviegoers with action stories rooted in Chinese culture. And if the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics goes ahead as planned, the world will see more of China through the lens of sport, as it did in 2008 at the Beijing Summer Games. Entertainment and social media have also overlapped. TikTok is one example at the top of the app charts in the Americas, Asia and Europe with 2 billion downloads. It's the sister app of Douyin, an identical app in China and owned by Chinese tech company ByteDance. Both platforms allow users to create short videos with music and soundtrack, giving the world a shared visual vocabulary that transcends language. It's made it easier for young people to organically discover each other. One social media star is Hebei Pangzai, a short video creator whose feats of drinking have gone viral in the West. Another is the runaway success of K-pop music in Latin America, where the now global phenom has been going strong for close to a decade. Celebrities are also discovering new ways to reach an international market. Take, for example, Justin Bieber recreating viral dances from China and Korean idols covering Chinese pop songs. Chinese influencers have also grown into a cottage industry using Douyin and other short video apps. When people think globalization, the advancement of tech and trade are usually top of mind, but it also means millions of people can discover, say, a rural Chinese chef, and people in Mexico can resonate with K-pop. In a world so connected, it goes to show that we're all looking to learn more about each other. Despite our differences in culture, or maybe because of this, we stand to gain a greater understanding of what's around us. I'm James Chow, this is The China Current, and I look forward to bringing you more stories about our shared world. Hi, I'm James Chow, you're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.